Welcome to the video. Um, as you can see, we are not in the truck tonight. We are in an amazing spot and some of the most amazing views that I think I've seen in a very, very long time. It's probably one of the most rustic fire tower lookouts that I've been to as well. Um, I believe this one was built right around 1930. Could be mistaken, but I think when I was booking this one and looking it up on the information, they said 1930. So very, very awesome. Uh, unlike the last fire tower that we stayed at, this one is actually on the ground. So we're not elevated and, you know, 15, 20 feet off the ground. The thing that I'm most stoked about though, is this one has a fireplace in it. So when I started the, the trek up to the top here, the temperature was right around 36 degrees down um, at the car. And looking at the radar for this area, um, it's expected to get down to around probably 25 tonight. I did bring a thermometer to stick outside and then also inside as well so we can kind of see the temperature difference with the wood stove, go wood stove going and then also just what it gets down to outside. But yeah, this is going to be one heck of a video guys. Uh, to address the backpack, some of you are probably thinking, oh my gosh, that thing is massive. Yes, 100%. That is a 95 liter Arteric backpack, and it is 100% overkill for this type of trip. But when you're documenting this, you have camera gear, I have to bring water for him, food, um, and then also the meal that we're making tonight, and then also tomorrow morning. I just didn't want to do a freeze-dried meal. I kind of wanted to make something special for you. So, yes. There's a lot of stuff in there and I regret putting as much as I did in that pack, especially with that trek up. But we made it, just took our time and here we are. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't already, please smash that like button for carrying that pack up. And we also carry the American flag up. We're gonna get some, some really cool shots with that. So thank you guys for the support and hopefully you enjoy this video.
So a lot of people in the last fire tower video had a lot of questions on where is the bathroom? Well, figured I'd show you the bathroom here. Um, this is a, a newer pit toilet or newer outhouse. It's actually pretty nice in here. And there is the old one that's right over there, but figured I'd show you what this looks like. Nothing, uh, nothing special, but gets the job done. We're still sawing some wood. It's about quite a bit, but and there's uh there's bags of the old shingles that it looks like people are obviously using uh, for some firewood as well. They're just in some trash bags on the, the side. So we'll use some of those, but I want to have enough wood for tonight. My goal is to keep that fire going pretty much all the way through the night if I can to help keep it warm in there and then also in the morning that way we don't have to kind of get it going again but it's 345 right now sunset is in a little under three hours so we got plenty of time um, I don't really have anything else to do and uh, yeah this is a workout <laughs> after the uh, after the short hike up here which is longer because I'm setting up the camera, walking, walking by it, all that stuff. Um, that was quite quite the trek with that bag. And uh, yeah, now we're getting some wood. All right, we, uh, we've got quite a few pieces of wood here. I'm thinking it should be enough. Um, this wood is pretty hard too, so it should, should take a while to burn, which will be good. Again, I just want enough to potentially last through the night and to get something at least started in the morning. Um, but yeah, incredible view, guys. Woo. It's a good view and it's one heck of a workout between hiking up here with the pack and cutting some wood. Yeah. Um, I think we should do a tour inside. There's a lot of cool things that I want to show you. So let's go ahead and hop inside. All right, so upon coming in, we have a very small fireplace or wood stove in the corner here. Um, probably and most likely can cook some stuff up on top if you wanted to. Have a little bin full of some firewood and some pokers, which is cool. Um, up here is just some cook utensils that you can see. Um, this thing right here, so on it says flour, sugar, etc. So I'm guessing back when this was an active fire tower, 
they actually kept obviously flour and sugar and stuff in there. There is a sleeping bag and just some extra blankets that are currently housed in there. Um, assuming if you need them, they're in there just in case. Now in this corner, we have the logs or the records from people that have stayed here. Um, the earliest entry that I saw in these books was 2002. Have a bin of some games and some cards. We've also have some books and some magazines and some crosswords. It's kind of cool. Um, some other games, scissors, pencil. Um, other random cook stuff, paper plates, um, pour over for coffee, seasonings, random stuff in there, and then in here, um, toilet paper, first aid kit, garbage bags, random stuff, which is super nice. Uh, two cots in here, so that's nice to have. We'll probably uh, probably sleep on that far one over on that side, and then we'll uh, kind of push this one up just so we'll get it out of the way. And then just some random cleaning supplies up on the top there. Got some random stuff in the corner, and then as you saw, this ladder swings down, and then that's how you go upstairs so that is the, the little tour um, got a light but this is very very rustic and there's this book that has a lot of cool a lot of cool information in so this was actually built in 1922 and the total cost, hopefully you can see that, $719.38, which was a lot of money in 1922. So a lot of cool stuff in this book. I'm gonna definitely look through this tonight just to kind of learn about some of the history of this fire tower. But overall, guys, this is, this is going to be quite the experience and I'm super stoked to stay here tonight and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video.
All right, um, we just finished cutting all the wood, which was very eventful. It was fun. Uh, we have a full box though now, which is great. Hopefully it lasts uh, through the night and into the morning. And we are now snacking on some Cheez-Its. So from the last video, <clears throat> the question was Cheez-Its or goldfish. And uh, these are Cheez-Its. These are the extra toasty cheddar ones. So they're actually honestly really good, almost better. I would say they actually are better than the original ones in my opinion. And uh, yeah, just chilling. I gave Odie one outside, he doesn't like them. Spit it out. You don't like these? No. <laughs> um, current time, 5.15. So about a little over an hour until sunset and uh, the view. This place is very incredible. Um, the rustic feeling of it, you can definitely feel the history and this place has definitely seen a lot, that's for sure. I think it's pretty amazing that fire towers like this are built um, over a hundred years ago, still standing, still withstanding the Montana winters, the snowstorms that are up here, the constant, uh, harsh environment. It's pretty insane to think about that buildings like this are still standing. Obviously with maintenance, the windows and stuff have to be repaired, but pretty much most of this, um, is all original. The roof obviously has to be replaced periodically in here and there. And like I said, the windows, but it's astonishing. And to think that someone was manning this fire tower back in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, staying up here during the summers and alerting for fires. It's crazy. There's a lot of history though. We are going to start a fire. Um, 
current temperature, as you can see, 31 degrees. Uh, sun is just going down and it's gonna get chilly. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. A little bit smoky. So, have the fire going, just uh, warming up next to it, making sure that it continues to keep going and uh, feels great thus far. We are going to start dinner here very shortly and I actually might cook on the top here. Um, I think it might be hot enough, we'll see. But we are making a sausage tortellini soup for this evening and it should be pretty tasty. It is warming up slightly in here, 37 degrees, and hopefully this little fireplace puts out some heat tonight. That's the, uh, the overall plan. So first things first, we are going to cut up these sausages and these are Italian style. They're a smoked chicken sausage with mozzarella cheese. Which I've had these before, they're really good. So we're gonna cut this up. Um, we're also going to chop up our onion, toss that in there, cook it, kind of stir it around um, on the fire obviously. And then we'll toss in some, <coughs> some garlic as well for probably about a minute to two minutes, just make sure it's um, sauteing a little bit in there. And then we will put in some broth and then we'll put in our tomatoes, tortellinis, let that uh, cook for a little bit. And then we do have some spinach, which was frozen. And then we have some cheese to top it with, mozzarella. So it should be a nice, hearty and warm meal, which is just what I need. And then for the knife that we're actually using, this is the 
mini speed goat from Montana Knife Company, which you guys have seen me using in previous videos. Just last week, I was actually down in Missoula, and I've had these knives for about a full year now, and actually just got them resharpened, and uh, it makes a huge difference. Not that they were very dull, but you could definitely tell after a year of pretty heavy use, they obviously start to lose that overall sharpness, but this thing is cutting through stuff like butter. Now I've made this recipe in the past, and uh, the only difference between then and now is that I actually made it on or in a Dutch oven. No Dutch oven tonight. <laughs> Wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna haul a Dutch oven up the hill, so. But I think we should still be able to get the very similar effect. And we're using Sea to Summit, um, a little pot here. And that's also what I'm cutting on right now, is it's actually a Sea to Summit bowl that is collapsible, but also serves as a little cutting board. Alright, so we're going to toss the garlic in. That. Wish you guys could smell this. It's smelling amazing right now. So we've added the broth, we have the tomatoes in there, we have the sausage obviously. We added a little bit of water as well and brought that up to a boil on the top of the stove here. Now we're going to add our tortellini. These are just the five cheese ones from Costco and uh, taste really good too. So we'll set that back in there, bring it back to a boil, and probably take eight to 10 minutes. Once that's boiling and we feel like the tortellinis are tender, we'll add in the spinach, and that will pretty much be it. And we'll top it with some cheese and call it good. It smells, it smells incredible though right now. Again, I wish you guys could smell this. All right, the soup is done. Smells great, looks great. And uh, let's go ahead and get our first bowl. There we go guys, dinner is served in a fire tower. <laughs> Gotta grab my, my spoon. And we'll take this off. Don't need that cooking anymore. Hmm. Super simple recipe guys too. <clears throat> um, I'll make sure to to link it down below, but very uh, very few ingredients. And as you saw, I cooked it cooked it all in one one pot there. Alright, we uh, just finished dinner, 
basically killed that whole whole pot of twirling soup. Super good. I love that stuff. And uh, it is about 8.15 right now. Grab some hot cider. Heat it up with this grail. Um, titanium thingamabob, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some, some cider, but Again, guys, thank you so much for the support on the videos. This one, this one specifically was one that I really wanted to make. And uh, after camping down below, uh, there's a little pull-off spot that you can camp at down at the trailhead. And after camping down there, after seeing this fire tower, I knew, knew it was definitely one that I wanted to stay at. And it has... <clears throat> It's amazed me in every way. Like I said, it's very, very rustic. It has a very uh, mountain slash fire tower vibe. And not saying that the other one didn't, but the other one was definitely stocked with a lot of amenities and um, was a lot newer as well. This one, you know, being built back in 1922 has a completely different feel. And this was the the feel or the vibe that I was kind of chasing after so fire is cooking uh, current temperature now is about 46 degrees in here so it is warming up it feels a little bit more comfortable and uh, so I, I have the flag nor fail overalls on I also have the I believe it's called the 32 degree um, basically like a, a thermal liner underneath as well from Costco. I also have the shirt on underneath this flag nor fail um, flannel. So I feel pretty good. <clears throat> um, these are the ultra boots. I forget the exact model, but these are the, the hiking slash uh, high ankle ones. These are also waterproof as well. The only downfall with these style of boots that I personally run into is my feet will get hot, my feet will then sweat, and they never really dry off because this is like a Gore-Tex material that's on these, I believe. So I always bring at least an extra pair of socks. So before going into the sleeping bag tonight, I'll most likely switch into a, a dry pair of socks and then hang these socks around the, uh, the stove here so they should dry out. Yeah, guys dinner was uh <clears throat> dinner was good the fire is really warm honestly now uh, i feel feel pretty good it's 50 degrees so it's warmed up quite a bit inside here which is nice and uh we'll uh we'll keep this going not going through as much wood as i initially thought so that's good we'll probably have some uh some leftover for the first people that stay here next year because I am very, very likely the last person to stay here for this year. So this is the second to last night. It is October 30th and tomorrow, October 31st, is actually the last night that you can stay um, until June 1st, I think, is when it opens back up again. So I'll probably be the last person up here, um, which is pretty cool. We've got some dessert as well. I brought two candies. I've got Milk Duds, which are one of my favorites, and then also Sour Patch Kids. Um, I haven't decided which one I'm going to have, but I'll probably have, maybe have a little bit of both and uh, enjoy them.
So with the with the last fire tower video, I wasn't expecting for that video to take off like it did. Um, it's definitely my first viral video on YouTube, which is pretty cool. And there's been a lot of support on that video. Then there's also been a lot of comments that I really wasn't expecting. Uh, there's some rude comments as well that I had to delete on there. Just mainly about, you know, the thunderstorm, the thunderstorm wasn't bad and stuff like that. And I'll just let you guys know, being in that type of environment is a lot different than actually watching it on YouTube. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Like even though it may not look super bad watching it through your computer screen, because uh, most likely you're watching that inside the comfort of your house, your home, it's warm, maybe you're in bed, wherever, and it's much different actually being in that environment and going through that type of storm. So was the storm bad? Yes, it was bad. Uh, that was also my first stay in a fire tower, so I wasn't quite sure, you know, how the tower was going, going to do. Obviously, the tower is going to be fine, but it's still a little bit nerve-wracking. And, uh, yeah, so there were some pretty, some pretty mean comments that I've just deleted. Um, I'm not going to put up with that type of stuff on the channel. So, but also, on the flip side of that, there was... A lot of support a lot of people that appreciate that type of video and I think what's really cool with these types of videos is some people will never get to experience this in their life and this is probably the closest thing that I can do um, for those people to get some sort of idea or experience on what this is like so it's pretty cool uh, again, a lot, of, yeah, a lot of support, a lot of new subscribers. So if you're from that video, thank you. Appreciate it. There's a lot more to come. And winter camping is definitely one of my favorites that will be coming up here shortly. All right, guys, um, it is 10 o'clock, <laughs> believe it or not. We're just uh, sitting around enjoying the fire and testing the camera outside, because I think we'll do a, try to do a time lapse and see how it is. Um, I'm gonna set the camera essentially right outside or right out front here, and it should be, should be all good. But, we're gonna get ready for bed. We just set up the sleeping pad. Um, everything is sea to summit except the actual pad. And I'm sleeping on the, the inflatable pad. It's just uh, one of the ones from Costco. So that's that. And uh, yeah, it's actually a lot warmer in here. I think it was reading about 52. 
So we should be should be nice and cozy. And uh, we'll load the fire up, and I'll have to get up in the middle of the night a couple times just to, to reload it. But that should keep it pretty warm in here, and then we'll have some coals in the morning. Get a small fire going and make some coffee. We'll see if we'll make breakfast. Um, I did bring stuff to make breakfast, but I'm not always the biggest breakfast person, more of just having a nice cup of coffee and then enjoying the view and heading out. So yeah, that's that. And it's been a great trip so far. Good morning, everyone. We uh, just woke up not too long ago. We actually slept fairly well. I, uh, I stayed pretty warm in the sleeping bag, and I was honestly pretty pretty exhausted and pretty tired. So only woke up once to go to the bathroom, and pretty much that was it. So current time right now is six six twenty. Um, just getting the fire going again. We still had some hot coals in there from last night, which made it easy. And yeah, current temp when I woke up um, says it's 31 in here. We definitely will be going through probably all, all of the firewood that I got yesterday. So it's good that I cut that whole log that was out back and should have enough to keep this fire going all morning until we leave. Current time is 7.05 and fire has been great, definitely warming up now. Until the horizon is just starting to lighten up a bit. Um, sunrise still isn't until 8.23, so there's still quite a bit of time, but I think being up this high will obviously get some sun or some light sooner than being way down on the valley floor.
morning coffee. Cheers. It's 7.45, and as you can see out the window, the sunrise is definitely starting to pop off. We're going to wait just a little bit longer because I want to get some drone shots. So uh, the drone shots, I think, are going to be incredible this morning. They were incredible last night. At least they looked incredible on the, the controller. Um, but yeah, amazing. Experience, guys. I know doing stuff like this isn't for everyone. Some people, you know, just like talking about the last video again, some people can't do this if there's no bathroom. Some people can't do this if there's no, you know, heat. Um, some people can't do this if they don't have a comfortable sleeping space. And for me, and I think a lot of people will appreciate this as well, is that not a lot of people get to experience this. Not a lot of people get to experience these types of views in the morning, at night. Um, so it's a totally new appreciation for the beauty that not only Montana has, but the just scenic viewpoints like this or, or something else.
current temperature outside was 23 degrees. We are well, just packing up. Uh, it is 8.45 and it's gonna take me a while to just kind of get everything organized, packed up. Um, we've gotta let the fire die out. It's almost out. There's just one more small log in there that's still burning. And then we'll, we'll start making our way down. Um, again, just with all the filming and the setup and that type of stuff, it just usually takes a little bit longer. So normally when a task maybe takes five minutes, it could take 10 to 15 minutes if we're filming it. But yeah, so we're gonna start packing up and uh, make our way out here shortly. Right. Um, fire tower is all closed up. We emptied out the fireplace as well. And just as a, a closing procedure, they asked that all these side panels are, are closed up and secured. So pretty sure, like I said, I will be the last person that stays up here for this year until next year and extremely privileged. So. We're gonna start making our way down and uh, head on out.